back. The day their first daughter was born was supposed to be a day of celebration for one Sealy Lake couple. But then the unthinkable, their precious daughter arrived stillborn. MTN's Jill Valley has a story of how they decided to channel their grief into the gift of time for other families experiencing loss. The nursery was ready, filled with sunshine and stuffed animals. Her name was on the wall. Little outfits hung neatly in the closet. And two young parents were eager to meet the little girl they named Huntley Blaine. After an earlier miscarriage, it was an exciting time for Kendra and Jurian Coombs of Seely Lake. We finally got to hear her heartbeat and her, you know, see, see her on the ultrasound when we got excited. It was an easy pregnancy. The night before they were scheduled for an induction, both Kendra and Jurian felt their baby move. But hours later, as doctors were preparing to induce Kendra, they realized something was wrong. And they're having a hard time finding her heartbeat, which wasn't out of the normal. <laughs> she, we had a hard time the whole time. Um, and then we, they brought in an ultrasound because they still couldn't find it after about an hour. And then they, they couldn't find it on there either. And that was when they told us she didn't make it. Baby Huntley was seven pounds, four ounces, and 20 inches long. And you just stare at her, just hoping something was wrong, that she was still gonna cry. But she did it. The tragedy of an infant's death is often made worse by biology. It does not allow a lot of time before the deceased needs to be cool to slow down tissue deterioration. It means parents who want to spend time with their infant must allow the child to periodically be taken from the room to have their body temperature lowered. It takes away precious moments. That's the only time you ever get to hold them. That's it, that's all you get. You don't get any more than that. Kendra and Jurian are honoring their daughter Huntley in a brave and beautiful way. They have opened up a GoFundMe account to raise money to buy a cuddle cot to donate to St. Patrick Hospital in Missoula. A cuddle cot allows grieving parents more precious time to say goodbye to the baby they lost. The device sits in the bassinet or cradle and it cools the child's core temperature enough so they can stay in the room with the family where they can take their time to say goodbye. St. Patrick Hospital currently doesn't have a cuddle cot, and Kendra says by donating one, she is giving other parents the precious gift of time. That cuddle cot will make it so they don't have to take them away. They can stay with the family, because it, it hurts a lot. Joy is coming back to this house, as Kendra and Jurian are expecting again, and this baby shares a due date with a sibling they'll never meet. But even Huntley's short time on earth was profound for this little family. Like I've always appreciated the little things. I appreciate them that much more. Everything. And she taught me to never take a single thing for granted, ever. She made me mom. In Sealy Lake, Jill Valley, MTN News.